One love, Rastafari. Bless you. Good morning, guys. Another very, very beautiful morning here at Chucky's Yard. Look at the sky. We have the best weather possible again. Good morning, Rowdy. Rowdy is a little tired today. Hey, Rowdy. Good morning. Chucky is also already awake doing some painting today. Yeah, I want to finish doing some painting, you know, because we start this thing from Monday, but we are so freelance and don't have a supervisor. We just work and stuff when we want to. You know? And we pass for two days just drinking and smoking and chilling. You know? So we move today again and see how far we can go. Yeah? But it is a freelance thing, no big rush, you know. Yeah, man, exactly. We just do when we feel like, you know, when we wake up and feel like work, we work. Because we make our own work, you know. We don't have a boss, so we just be freelance style, you know. But how much board again? One, two, three, four, five? No, I think six, six. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, six, six. Six yellow, six green. Okay. And five red. Okay. And I'm gonna start painting the red part very soon for the second time. And yeah, maybe Chucky and me, we're heading out later on to Black Hill to uh, get some sour sap and yeah maybe i'm gonna take the drone and we're gonna fly it down at this beautiful beach yeah we're gonna make it freelance right go to right now and go down to the beach and fly the drone you know and make some beautiful pitch today today you know soon as we finish this painting you know maybe take we a hour or two and then we go to black Hill and get sour sap and just do what we have to do in black you know but we're not gonna ride freelance through that road again and go to orange here but it was a good experience yesterday you know yeah man. yeah it was a little crazy that ride to be honest <laughs> like at some part chucky nearly dropped his bike it was so the road was so so bad right chucky yes you have to be a real good rider to handle this bike through that rough road you know it's terrible it's like you're riding on a riverside you know like a river bed there's not really a road no more you know rain mash it up you know so the trail bike is the right b bike to go ride in those places yang yang could never make it no it yang yang is not good no for this it will break up you know so we see what's going on today when we go back there you know and check it out you know exactly and i'm gonna get the red paint now and start to paint this part up here it needs to have a second coat. So let's see. The red paint must be somewhere over here. Also, Chucky made some nice coffee this morning. Real good. Thank Chucky for that. And uh, where's the red paint gone? Mm, I can't find the red. This is the new bucket. Where the red paint? Oh, right there, sir. Ah, there it is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> just finished the second layer of paint up here the red part Chucky did the yellow part down here and now he just went around the corner yes. to do you to do the yellow down here nice yeah I'm so I'm straightening out everything now you know bring it back to the level you know but we need to get a second coat you know yeah man to make it look real perfect now you know and this this ply you have to do as well yeah I didn't remember that one yeah oh, but my paint finished right now yeah, my paint is also finished. Yeah, and the weather is really, really hot today, guys. So I just finished my red paint and I think I'm going to take a little break from painting now, right? Yeah, we're going to start out the pop yard, just chill. Yeah, I'm going to check the stove. Chucky has some problem with his stove in the Babylon kitchen. Um, the stove doesn't have enough gas. There's not enough gas coming out. The flame is very, very small, so but I think it's fixable. So I'm gonna take apart the stove now and see 
if we can fix it back up what do you think yes i think you can take off the hose and then maybe blow through it or put it under the pipe and make water run through the hose and maybe we'll get a better fire you know flames you're right you're yeah. a good idea you know so try it and see how it work out okay okay the problem right now is that you can nearly not get the water to boil the flame is just too small and yeah i'm gonna try to see what i can do with it right now Yeah, Chucky doesn't have a good screwdriver, so I just use this flat piece of metal right here to unscrew the pipe. Ah, it come off very easily. So let's see if this thing... Ah, there's some issue with this. Let's clean it off. I just cleaned the whole stove, guys, and cleaned also the, the whole and took the whole stove apart and let's see if it works yeah it works but the flame is still super tiny i think the stove is actually broken we have to probably get a new stove maybe chucky and me are heading into port antonio soon to get a new one so on monday we can have a nice nice evening here because Ayana is gonna come back and she's gonna bring some friends from Israel and another Canadian girl. So we want to have a big cook off on Monday. So let's see if it's gonna happen or not. Chucky and me, we finished painting. That's how far we got. Only the green is missing. And uh, now Chucky and me, we're heading out to Port Antonio to get a new store because this one not working so properly. Huh? So we need to start with a new one that means that uh, when the guests come and want to cook, you can get good flame. The flame not good now, right? Exactly. So we're gonna go put on Tony Basco. We're gonna shop around and look for the cheapest price now because he's that type of guy. I don't just throw him on the set. Yeah, exactly. No. And everybody's chipping in a thousand Jamaican. Chucky pays a thousand, me pays a thousand, and Cooley paid a thousand. Yeah, and now we're already heading out. And after we bought the new stove, we're gonna come here again really quick to drop the stove. And then we're heading to Black Hill to buy some sour sap and also we're gonna fly the drone down at the beautiful beach where we have been in the last episode right right we do that at a quick moment you know we just run go party and run come back and go to black hill by the beach and fly the drone where the italian guy used to have his guest house you know nice place you will see it on the youtube okay yeah one love rastafari moving Let's on go. to port antonio okay and here is the money Oh yeah. Store, I always carry the money. Yeah, you're a German, you know? Chucky doesn't really like the money that much, yeah. so it's my responsibility, <laughs> right? Right. Right, free lads time. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Let's get a new stove guys. Chucky and me, we're going to the new mall here in Port Antonio. And that's the shop if we want to check out. Maybe they sell a stove there. Uh, here in Jamaica, they always want you to park backwards. All vehicle park face out. That's what's written here. Yeah. But for me, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. yeah. So let's go and check it out now and see what they have here in Basco. Up there. And we got a shop around because we I'm not a guy who just give away money, you know. I look for the cheapest price, you know. Yeah, I'm the same. I rather go to three or four shops <laughs> and find the cheapest price. Chucky and me is so similar in a lot of things. Yes. It's because of Chucky's uh, influence of German people around him. Since 30 years, Chucky received German guests, right? Yes, definitely. 30 years or even more. Yeah. I respect German guests coming to my place. So, so that's the shop we're going to check out. Yeah, so the security say they not have stove in here. And the security guy is from Hope Bay, you know, he's my friend, he's the same guy that killed the chicken and give me all that belly part to cook for the dog, you know. Nice, so that's nice. Guy. You have stove? Yeah, stove? Stove? Stove top. Yeah, yeah man, that's what we look for. Yeah. 
That's the right one you look for. Uh, what if you have a good price for? Good price? Yeah. yeah, for poor people. Yeah. Homeless yeah. people. You know, homeless. We're homeless guy, you know? Electric car. Gas, yes, gas, yes. two burner stove, 4,900. What do you say? We check somewhere else? Yes, and come back again. Yeah. Because we need to shop around, you know? We need to compare yeah. all the prices. Yeah, we don't give away money like that. You know? Okay. No. Not because we are so free lads. We still have to have a little schedule what we do. Our things. Okay, okay. Right? So let's go. Oh, oh Scheißen. Scheißen, Dreck. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Next shop, here we come. Next shop, here we are. Let's see. They also have straight Babylon. In this shop back there, we actually found something nice for 3,500 Jamaican dollar, right? Yes, and I think it's a good price, you know, but we still gotta make a freelance look uptown and see how it go. Like we said before, we don't just give away money because, that because we are freelance. We're very skeptic and careful with money, you know? Exactly. Yes, because we want to use our money in a wise way, you know, not a stupid way, you know? Like most Jamaicans do, you know? I'm yeah. not that type of guy, you know? Let's jump back on the freelance bike. Freelance style. <laughs> <laughs> Port Antonio is so busy today. Crazy. No pepper. In total, Chucky and me, we checked out five different shops, and uh, turns out the second one was the cheapest, so we're gonna go back there now. Wow, it's so loud here. Woo. Okay, so Chucky and me, we made it back to our first stop because this shop behind Bless. me right here was actually the cheapest, yes. right? Yeah, so now we go and check it out. So just like what we said, we don't give away money. We shop around and look for the cheapest one, you know? Yeah, it's so, right there. Yeah. Get, get a fresh one. Yeah, so we even got a discount. Right, Chucky? Yeah, we have a discount, you know, because I asked the Indian and he said, yeah, three, three. Yeah. You know, so you have to talk it down like that. Yeah, know? so $200 cheaper even. Now we just need the clamps. Oh, nice. So finally, Chucky has a new stove again. Super nice because that was driving me nuts not being able to cook anything on Chucky's stove. And yeah, I also just got some nice scotch bonnet pepper in Porty town for 150 Jamaican. Yeah, because we have scotch bonnet at home still, now, but yesterday he cooked something and accidentally he just threw the water. And yeah, he down the scotch I threw the hot water up on the scotch bonnet tree, so now it broke. Yeah. Shit. But, but we have some young sucker at home in the pan, so as soon as the sucker grow up a little like this, I'm gonna take them out and transplant them. Yeah. And we can have scotch bonnet by summer again, you know? Here and the stove comes. Look, free gift, gas hose, two clips and extra knobs, yeah. so we don't need it. Yeah. Nice. Everything come with it. 3000. We've made it. Chucky finally has a new stove. Right, Chucky? Yes, we have a new stove. You know? so yeah, man. No, we got to bring it back home and start it out, you know, and hang it up, you know. That's what we can cook tomorrow and barbecue when the girl will come over. Everything yeah, man. can go so fucking fast, you know. Got the one we have too small, the flame, and it's struggling with the cooking, you know. So now we replace it with a brand new one, okay? Yeah, man. So let's go, okay? <laughs> Everybody's let's looking go. at us. Yeah. Back on the bike now, freelance ride with the stove yeah. to Chucky, Hope Let's go. Yeah. Well, Bless up. We are here, right? Yeah, man. Finally, you're on the video, too. Finally. Yeah, man. Nice. Yeah, man. We just met Chucky our... and Simon to the yeah. world, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And we meet Scrappy. Yeah, yeah Scrappy did it so. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. One love, right? Yeah, yeah. One love. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. From Jamaica to Germany, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, one back. love. One love. <laughs> Have a good day. Yo. And I'm just getting some food right over there. And we just bumped yeah. into our police brethren, right? Yeah, man. It's a good guy, you know? He's a real, real nice guy. I like yeah. him a lot. Yeah. We are back in Chucky's Babylon kitchen. Time to unpack the Babylon stove. Yeah. And yeah, remove that one, Chucky. Yes, outside. We're gonna replace this one. And the nice part is, guys, 
it comes with a new gas hose and you sure? with two clips. Yeah. You yeah. Iron, but we're not gonna put it on. Let's use this. Too much work for that. <laughs> That's how Chucky does it. Yeah. With a little brush. Yeah. One, two. I think, guys, this stove will be way better. I just installed the new stove and it works like a charm, guys. The water is already boiling up. Super, super nice. Finally, we can cook in Chucky's Babylon kitchen again. Nice.